Only in downtown Kyiv it is possible to see enamored street lamps and chairs that grow on trees. Sculptor Volodymyr Bilokon has been creating unusual sculptures for several years now. It's not an oak. Acorns grow on oaks. These are chairs. If you shake the tree, chairs will fall off. Maybe we need a seed that looks like a chair to grow such a tree. I don't make things, I play with images. A tree on which chairs and lanterns on dates grow. The main thing is the image. The dates could have been made by the trees, lollipops or chairs there. I like the chairs hanging on the tree. These monuments adorn the streets and can become meeting spots. You can say, we will meet near this or that monument. It's great. I would like to see more of Unusual monuments. They are always fun. Volodymyr thinks that a couple of chairs on a bench can replace the orange pylons bearing car parking. Lollipops are another of his creations. When I was small, we used to walk here with my granny. Lollipops were often sold here. That was a long time ago, and new candy has replaced the Soviet caramel all the time. That's neither good nor bad, it's just my nostalgia speaking. There's a coffee house near Maidan Nezalezhnosti, where a coffee grinder invites patrons to the place. Although the sculpture was commissioned, it has become a piece of art. I wanted to add something to the composition. That's how the idea to draw graffiti came about. It's a place where coffee grinders flock. If you draw in a handle, the coffee grinder looks like a helicopter. We drew a mirror image of a street onto the wall. The monuments that decorate downtown streets are often made in the city's industrial areas. Everything begins in the foundry, where the metal is given shape and polish. The sculptor says that the creation of a monument represents teamwork. It's easier to work in the open air with big sculptures because the sculptor needs to connect pieces and paint them. They are now working on a motorcycle for a biker's club. And in the meantime, Volodymyr Bilokon has 200 other ideas. Helena Budivska, Ludmila Kushnir, Mohila School of Journalism.